Leo, this reading will be for you. This reading will be general and it will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have birth chart placements in Leo or you are dealing with someone that does, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. If you're interested, click the join button below or you can find more information about joining in the description box. You can also find information there about private readings. Um, I am running a Valentine's Day special on private readings at the moment. And don't forget to like and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. All right. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, the Four of Cups. Strength, Leo energy. Seven of Swords in reverse. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles, the Chariot. Somebody's coming towards you. Yeah, somebody's coming towards you or making some type of progress to be able to come towards you or with the intent to come towards you. Clarify Four of, Four of Cups, the Magician. Yeah, I feel like somebody wants to make something happen here because they are thinking about something being a missed opportunity. And somebody's like, somebody was moving very slow and then now they're about to pick up the pace here. Like, because somebody may be afraid that they're about to miss an opportunity if they don't, you know, come in with a quickness here. I'm telling you, yeah, strength here. This is somebody that is trying to work up the courage to ask for another chance or to make a decision about something here. Or to follow what they know is the right thing to do. Clarify the Seven of Swords in reverse. The Nine of Pentacles. What about the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords? Temperance in reverse. It's almost like somebody has a lot of regrets and they do want to make amends with you. But I think that this person, they, they want to reconcile. But I think this person also knows that you don't need them. Some of this person's thinking about like, why would, you know, yeah, I, I am regretful. Yes, I do want to reconcile with Leo. But, you know, why would they, you know, why would they, why would they want to reconcile with me? They don't need me for anything. They're self-sufficient. Huh? There could be something else going on here, too. What does the Nine of Pentacles mean for this person? The Three of Pentacles. Okay. Or maybe they're wanting to wreck. Oh, they're wanting to work on something with you because you are the Nine of Pentacles. But be careful of letting this person back into your life. They may be wanting to come towards you because they view you as somebody that has their shit together and that is very abundant and stable and independent. And that may be why they're wanting to reconcile with you. But just know that we have the temperance in reverse here. It's almost like, cause with the chariot here, I was be being drawn to how this card literally says on it, opposing forces working towards a goal. It's like you and this person, like you guys may want the same thing, but like this person needs to get themselves in check. It's like, they want the same thing as you, but they're also not, on the same page as you like I'm, I'm hoping that makes sense like they may want the final the same final outcome as you do but they're coming towards you in this unhealed imbalanced disruptive chaotic energy and I feel like Despite them maybe having good intentions or wanting to manifest the same thing as you, they may not be able to contribute to this connection or this collaboration 
in a way that is going to get you guys to that end goal. Like, I don't know. I hope that that makes sense what I'm saying. What is the eight of swords? There's something that is like off about this person that would actually hinder the progress or hinder your progress. You guys wouldn't get to where they wanted you to be or where you guys want to be. Because I feel like this person is like not healing. They're not healing. <laughs> like you're healing and working on yourself. This person isn't healing or maybe not healing at the same pace as you or they aren't healed enough to be able to come together with you and build something like co-create with you. It's like there's something not right here. What is the Eight of Swords? Why is someone the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy? Somebody is really stressed out right now. This person is still very much plagued. 555 five, five on the camera, though. Some type of big change is coming. This person still has a lot of self-limiting beliefs and like they may love you. They do. They do love you. It looks like here. But see, two of pentacles, though. What is the two of pentacles? The six of swords in reverse. See, this is a person that feels like they're in a situation that they don't know how to get themselves out of right now. Or they don't know how to navigate their way out of that situation. It's almost like this person is wanting you to kind of help them in some way. Like they're like, okay, we want the same end goal. It's almost like this person feels like they learned from you or something. Somebody had a reading like this, like either a couple days ago or last week, but it's like this person feels like they learned from you. They don't know how to get themselves out of this situation that they're in. This could have been somebody that was telling you that they were single, but it was, it came out that it was actually the exact opposite for some of you. It's like this person feels like they're stuck in a situation but I feel like they they feel they're stuck there. They're not actually stuck there. They feel they're stuck there because of their self-limiting beliefs or their un inability to see something. It's like this person just, they don't feel like they see a way out of where, they don't see a, a way out of their situation. So what do they want you to do? But they also don't want to miss an opportunity with you. So what are they expecting from you? The two of wands. It's almost like they're wanting you to help. What? <laughs> I don't know if they're like wanting you to help them make this decision or for some of you, this may not even be romantic. This could be like a friend or whatever, a coworker. I don't know. It's like they're viewing you as somebody who's a lot more wise and a lot more put together and mature. And I do feel like this person wants to be honest with you about something. Guys, this is going to sound so crazy. It's like somebody's coming towards you. This is somebody that you were dealing with before who was hiding something from you. They now want to reveal to you what they've been hiding from you. Whatever this situation is that they've been hiding from you is something that they, they have not, they've been trying to figure out how to get out of it, but they don't know how. But they feel like they, they, they look at what you have achieved for yourself and how you always figure things out or maybe you've shared with this person they you were in a similar situation you found your way out of it it's something like that and they feel like they need your guidance or your help like they may not be wanting you to take you know pay their bills or take care of them or give them a place to live but it's almost like this person feels like having you in their life they will more easily be able to know how to, to navigate their way out of this situation because this person is pretty lost. This person doesn't know. <sighs> they want to leave something here and they, they're trying to figure out like, it's like they know that they need to make a decision. This was a situation that was their comfort zone, but they're, they're, getting, they're ready to leave that comfort zone now. It's just like they don't know how to. Huh. Interesting. So it's like, why does I was saying that they may not want you to see giving and receiving? They need your help. This person feels like they need your help. They don't know how to get themselves out of a situation. What? So that's what I, I oh, so I didn't even notice this card I put down. I was asking spirit when I shuffled this card, what do they want from you? They want your help. In what way? I don't think it's material. Hopefully it's not that. What, are, what do they need here? 
the tower, they need your help on how to make some type of change or how to destruct some type of old foundation. See, we have, this is giving me awakening energy. It's something about having this person having you in their life that awakens them. They need your help getting out of some type of disaster. What have they gotten themselves involved in? The Six of Wands and the Here Font in Reverse. What is this? Something that maybe they got. Clarify the Six of Wands. Yeah, the. So how are you going to help them out of this before I say whatever I'm going to say? How are you going to help them? This person feels like they need somebody in their life that is really going to tell them about themselves. Like, I feel like this person needs you to kind of just be like... There's something about, uh, how do they need Leo's help? The Ace of Pentacles, I don't like that. What about the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse? There is somebody around them. See, they reconcile. Oh, but why did they do this? Out of pride? Or because of the attention that that person was giving them or something. They got themselves in a situation. I'm telling you. They got themselves in a situation, guys. Possibly because of lust. I don't know. Five of Swords in reverse. They, it, it looks like somebody that they reconciled with. If it wasn't that, it was somebody that they regret getting involved with. Like They may even feel that they, they were reckless. Or they, they did this out of ego. Or they maybe feel like they... They are in some, they're in this situation with this person that's very manipulative, cold, spiteful. They're maybe afraid of what this person's going to do, do to them. What in the world? There's a lot of arguing, conflict. Again, though, how are you going to help this person? How are you going to help them? Yeah, they want to see recovery, leaving an abusive, toxic situation, detachment, freedom, facing shadows, independence, reclaiming power, release. How, why did this person think you're going to help them be able to leave this other situation? Oh, or maybe spirit says you are helping this person. Delays, blocks, lack. I'm telling you, this person lacks direction. They know that it's something is toxic and that they need to leave it. But this person just feels lost. Like they don't know what to do. This person feels like you motivate them or something. Like they feel like when you're in their life, they have so much more clarity and they have so much more drive. And it's almost like this person feels like they need to know that you still love them and that you still have some type of faith in them. Like, I don't know. I don't think that they're asking you for like money, a place to stay or something like that. It's like this person just kind of needs you. They're realizing they need somebody in, in their life like you that holds them accountable and that gives them motivation and support and like, you know, like, you know, you sometimes you need to talk to a friend or somebody so that you can start seeing things from a different perspective. They feel like when you guys talk, they start seeing things for what it is. It's like this person is just very lost. That This person feels lost without you. And maybe they didn't realize it until they didn't have you in their life. Then they realized how much guidance and support and how much you motivated them. And, you, you know, you like you were... They, it's like without you, they don't even know how to get themselves out of this, this toxic situation. So now what's going to happen here? So what's next? We have the three of cups in reverse and the emperor in reverse. They feel like with this, with this third party, there's no support. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
they feel like they're like they're forced to fall like they feel like they have no i feel like this person feels like they have no independence in that situation like they're just forced to do whatever this person or these people tell them to do wow they feel yeah inflexibly ego power struggles yeah immaturity poor planning domineering rigid recklessness so what does that do with anything It's like this person feels like you activate the divine masculine or the divine feminine in them. They don't know what to do. They are so confused. They are confused. Page of Pentacles. What about the Page of Pentacles? The Seven of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Wands in reverse. They see what it is. If this person couldn't see before that they were in a toxic situation, they know. They see it now. I think this is somebody that let you go because they didn't feel ready for somebody like you. They didn't. They didn't feel ready for, and they maybe felt like you were putting too much pressure on them. I know some of you guys are like, I didn't pressure that person, but <laughs> they just felt like being with somebody was being with someone like you or dealing with somebody like you was a lot of pressure, and they didn't feel ready for it. There was a lot of love here, and I feel like that's what's bringing this person back around to you. They feel like with you, they grow. It's like this person's ready to grow up or grow and they feel like in the environment that they're in, they can't do that. They felt like with you, they were growing the most and they were changing and evolving the most. So I feel like this person's going to come towards you and be like, look, like, you know, I'm trying to make amends with you. You know, I love you. I want us to be together. But look, I got this situation. This is what's been really going on behind the scenes. And this is why. You know, things weren't really go moving forward between the, the two of us. I don't know how to get myself out of this situation, but I think that the two of us coming together is something I really want. I think it's something that could be really good. Um, it's like they're going to like, I don't know, guys. It's it's weird. It's a weird situation. <laughs> Did I did I even read signs? We have, yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Cancer. We have Leo. We have Gemini, Virgo, Aries, Energy. We have Scorpio. Huh. It's like this person feels like you keep them going or you just really motivated them because I keep hearing keep on keeping on. I don't know. Keep going. They give you strength. They feel like you give them strength or courage. I don't know. But, like, maybe if you guys have walked away from this person, it's almost like having you around was this person's motivation to, to get their shit together. But this person needs to want to change their situation for themselves. Yeah. I'm sorry for accusing you of things you didn't even do. I'm, I'm so used to people hurting me. I assumed you were just trying to hurt me, too. I should have treated you better. We have union and in sync. I want to commit to you. I want to hold your hand in sickness and in health. I want to walk into the sunset with you and never look back. I need to release certain certain commitments and fully commit to you. They never fully committed to you. Yeah, I feel like they had a situation going on behind the scenes. I'm trying to reinvent myself and release the old me. I took you for granted, disappointed you, and deserted you when you needed me the most. I want to come back stronger so I can build something better with you. And separation, yeah. Someone runs away, honeymoon phase ends, insecurities and attachment issues begin to appear, causing a rift in the relationship. Somebody's family is a nightmare, I feel like. Or it's like they're in a toxic family dynamic with somebody. Takes each other for granted, stops learning from one another. Yeah, they feel like it's like they're being pushed out of that situation. The divine is nudging them out of that situation because there's nothing else more that they can learn from that situation. The karmic lesson, they, they've, the lesson has been learned. Stops learning from one another, stuck spiritually. So it's just like, well, then what's the point? Why are we together? We're not benefiting each other in any way or we're not learning from each other. Spirit says time to move on. Helps each other grow not only as individuals, but also as a spiritual being. So I feel like at some point, this connection did have a purpose, but now it doesn't. And they've been just staying there because they don't know how to get themselves out of it. Definitely given, they're definitely involved with a karmic. Yeah, we have Chaser. I'm telling you, this karmic is crazy. This karmic won't let this person go. Or this is this person. Somebody, yeah, feels unwanted and self-blames. Feeling pain and hopelessness in the confusing situation. Feeling empty and lost without... Tw Didn't I say they were lost without you? Experiences dark night of the soul. So now what? What is Chaser? 
See, I'm telling you, they have a third party that's like hold, holding on to them for dear life. But that the situation, it's like a toxic situation. I made you feel inadequate because I chose someone over you. I regret the pain I have ch caused you due to my selfishness and my physical needs. You didn't deserve being treated as an option. So they either chose this third party over you for sex reasons or for money. Who is, what's this chaser energy? I don't, unsent messages. This person wants to chase you. They're, or they're about to start chasing you because they feel so lost without you. They feel like you don't want them anymore. It's like this person wants to know that you still want them, that you still love them. Mm-hmm. They're starting to blame themselves. Like it's getting to that point where they can't like ignore that they messed up and that it's their fault. And now they're starting to feel like you don't want them anymore. And they're starting to feel hopeless and they're in pain and they're feeling empty and lost. But this is maybe what they need to go through. The dark night of the soul happens for a reason. They're starting to feel like they knew they know they made the wrong decision. They they shouldn't have chose this other person over you. They were selfish. They treated somebody as an option that they should have treated who they should have made you the priority. And they're trying to, I feel like they're trying to work up the courage to come in and ask you for another chance here. Yeah. Won't admit their true feelings. Thinks about reaching out, but is apprehensive and then does not. Yeah. Types up messages or picks up the phone, but never hits send, send or dials telepathic, but you guys are communicating telepathically. Random thoughts and intense feelings brought about by your twin. They may not be reaching out to you, but the telepathic communication is there. Notice patterns, images, or numbers in your day-to-day -day that remind you of your person. Yeah, insecurities. This person thought that if they showed you their true self or whatever, or they ran from you because of insecurities, they felt like you wouldn't accept them. Could be dealing with a cancer. We have magical and powerful. New beginnings and alignment, taking action towards destiny, creator of own reality through powers of manifesting. Virgo here, September 22nd through November 6th. What about that time period? Yeah, too soon, too fat. What is this? There's another person involved. So they could have got back together with this person in the fall time. There was another person involved, not ready for this for the deep connection, wrong timing, can't or won't commit, afraid of hurting you or hurting themselves. Um, what is the significance of September 22nd through November 6th? What was that? They, yeah, I think I just saw settling or let's see, see, they, they got into back. They got back together with somebody for money reasons. I'm not feeling fulfilled in my life. Therefore I'm chasing money and status as a way to increase my self-worth. I also feel I'm not equipped to handle our connection. I'd rather focus on what I can't control. So they focused on what was within their control and what other people were telling them that they should do. I am an idiot. I spoke about our connection as if it was trivial. I didn't respect the sanctity of our connection. Instead of keeping things between me and you, I allowed others to interfere. They'll be back here, guys. They will be. Maybe even sometime in the spring, wanting to make things right. Remorseful through actionable change. Wants to undo the wrongs and do right by you. Understanding what you put in, you get out karmic justice. Yeah. So this, this pain and this emptiness and this feelings of like loss and all this stuff them feeling lost is that what they need to go through so are they about to come towards you are they wanting are they about to come in and ask for help yeah it says there are so many barriers stopping us from being together i'm trying my best to become a better person so i can knock down the walls for you and eventually with you i feel my life is falling apart and i don't know what to do whatever can go wrong has gone wrong but the one thing that felt right was you so what what's happening here? <laughs> I said a lot of things I should not have said. I said them out of anger and fear. Sometimes I say things without even thinking. I'm sorry for hurting you with my words. They're still not ready, guys. I don't know. We're going to be taking a deeper look at what's going to be happening next um over in the extended reading like cuz I I see this person needing your wanting your help with something. So I see them trying to make some changes, but I think they're struggling and they're feeling lost. So we're going to take a deeper look. Like I said, um, feelings, intentions, guidance, all of that will be in the extended reading. 
The link will be in the description box or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings. Private reading information can also be found there. I am running a Valentine's Day special and don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you in the extended reading. Bye.